you. Haven't you killed enough? That lantern of yours. Have you heard of the 908? What? Around Burn the... us or drown us! Make up your mind! Get away from those spillways! Ooh. All in, watch out! Uh, uh. 908, of course. I developed the protective fluid for the body armor. The protective fluid? The protective fluid is nothing more than a narcotic agent. It stops them from feeling the damage being done to their bodies. The only skin that poor boy has now is his pressure suit. Are you telling me he doesn't even know he's crippling himself with that weapon? Um, Lieutenant? If we come across the high-temperature trooper again, I'd like your permission to engage him, ma'am. Please, Lieutenant! <gasps> Emissary, you honor us. I serve the silver wheel with all humility. Yes. We all serve the silver... Mion. Sir! That greeting is reserved for the exclusive use of our membership. I thought I had explained that to you previously. Oh, forgive me! <laughs> Hans, I trust all is well with you. We are having you perform a rather menial task. You gave me a place to belong. I am grateful. No! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! You trust all is well? What's your fascination with that walking can of garbage? I'm running the underground Himmel trade for you and keeping those government officials off your back with forged paperwork! Are you fishing for praise, Mion? Oh, uh, I humbly apologize, sir. Then please, stick to the assignments we've already given you. This is your quota for the next fortnight. We will remain happy as long as you continue distributing Himmel per our instructions. But for now, I bid you farewell. Hans, look after Mr. Mion and keep him safe, please. <laughs> Did either of you hear a gunshot just now? No, I didn't hear any gunshots, Lieutenant. Oland, we'll talk about it later. But, Lieutenant, listen. Get us on the road now, Mardis. Roger. <laughs> Hesitate again. 901. You are mine. Oland! Stop playing around! It's either you or him, so shoot already! You and I are brothers in arms. 
Don't move, didn't I? I usually have my men leave us alone, but I finally want to see some results from you. Got it? What kind of results? You know what kind. I've done more than enough to merit a recommendation from you to the people you answer to. And you're not leaving until you promise me that! A place in the Silver Wheel Society. <laughs> What in the hell are you talking about, boss? Let's just kill him and get it over with. That sorry son of a bitch tried to burn us all to death in the underground. Just who in the hell is this guy anyway, Mr. Mion? And what's the deal with a guy in the mask and the trench coat, huh? Yeah, and they opened the spillways and tried to drown us. That's what you said, right, Mr. Mion? I say we make cat food out of both of them. Wait! Don't be rash! Emissary, I'm waiting for my answer. And they shoot if I'm not satisfied. What's it gonna be? My friend, I truly apologize for making you waste your talents in a place like this. I really do. Huh? What do you mean by that? I'm still waiting for my answer from you. Hey, I'm the one who's giving your orders now, Hans. And you better do just as I say. I want you to use that flamethrower to burn this arrogant bastard down where he stands! Do it right now! Hans, your mission from the Society is still the protection of Mr. Mjoln and his assets. Understood. I swore I would honor your commands above everyone else's. <laughs> That's a good boy. <gasps> Compared to you, these people are unintelligent, ill-mannered, and hardly worth the effort. Incompetence is a sin. I'm sorry. You may thank me for calling these incompetents from your ranks later. You wanted results, Mjarn, and now you have them. Kill him! Shut up! And put that gun down! But, sir! Please, emissary, sir, I beg you to stop. Forgive my insolence. It won't happen again. No, no, that is... Very well. I shall see you in two weeks. You're going to... You're actually going to forgive me, Emissary? I merely wish to silence those with careless tongues. Oh, thank you, Emissary. I will perform my duties to the fullest. I will serve faithfully and without question, but please keep everything that happened here a secret. <laughs> Are you sure about this, Mr. Mion? Aren't we going to waste unless we fight back, sir? Just be grateful we managed to save our skins this time. I should have known better than to go against him like that. I should have. No, better I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Documents, you say? Yeah, that's right. Any chance you might know anything about it? Um. I don't know about any documents, but they always told us we had to carry one of these around all the time. Hmm. But this is... 
Hey, boss. Something strange is going on. <laughs> Welcome back, Mr. Araldo. Hey, is that lipstick on your face? What the heck? You were supposed to get... Section 1 just sent out the first field platoon, doing? sir. What am I going to do with you, Araldo? And they're battle ready. Jeez, are you even listening? Well, that'll remind me to never accuse Connery of playing nice again. He just called out the number one sword of the Empire, Claymore One. This investigation just became a war. 